Okay, when I install this plank and glue it in place, this will be the last plank of the uh, main hull planking for the Flying Cloud Clipper ship. Alright, that's now in place, and with that, the hull of the uh, Flying Cloud Clipper ship is complete. Ready for primary sanding. And then I'll be applying the uh, outer layer of planks of the upper portion right here. And the copper plates, real copper plates, just like found on the real ship, on the lower part of the ship. First, I am going to do a little bit of wood filler. I apply a little bit of wood filler in some of the gaps. It's a good idea to get this first layer of planking as smooth as possible when you do the sanding. I'm going to start off with like a number 230 sanding paper and then gravitate to a number 150. But you don't want to get a whole lot coarser than that because you don't want to change the shape of the hull. Look how beautiful that is. Nice, extreme clipper ship hull. I wanted to show how well this uh, idea of painting the hull frame a color before you start sanding it works. Uh, it really does emphasize and show how well the uh, angle, or what angle it is that you've uh, currently got sanded by highlighting it. See here. This side has been completed. This side here I'm just starting to do right now. So you can see some of the leftover paint. And so as I sand this off right here, it'll easily, it'll be easy for me to see and match it up to this side over here has been complete. Okay, now we can see quite easily the uh, completed sanded stern here. How by painting it, it was really easy for me to match up one side to the other to get the symmetry just right. Same thing with the... Uh, Back here, all of these stern frames are now evenly matched. And all I have to do now is the same thing with the bow up here. This side is prepped. I've already got the uh, planks laying in at exactly the angle that I want them laying in on these uh, sanded frames. So now all I have to do is match this side up over here. And we're ready for planking the hull. Pretty cool. Now when you get ready to plank the hull, after you've shaped the ribs or the frames by camphoring them, the most important of all of the planks is the very first one of course because all the others are going to correspond to where you've laid that first plank. So it's extremely important to go over this again and again, remeasuring, remeasuring, so that both sides are exactly the same. I've managed to get the first layer of planks in here. This is called the strake. The first strake in place. Evenly on both sides. So that now all the other planks. And as you can see this includes going along the elliptical stern as well. And all the other planks should lay in place pretty easily. Once all of the planks are in place on the upper portion here, these little supports that they are initially laid against are going to be snipped away. It's important of all uh, planking the hull of the Flying Cloud Clipper ship. Uh, this is the first layer of planking, which is a thick set of boards. Now, in, in uh, planking the hull of these ship models, one of the things I suggest is, because the first layer of planking is a thick wood that you're going to end up having to sand over when to create the final shape of the hull. So in order not to create any divots, any little divots or whatever, it's really important to use only the really thin water, almost water uh, uh, consistency cryo -sio glue on the outside seams of the hull planks. Uh, and then I use only the, I'll use a medium grade uh, cryo -sio glue for the underside where I put glue right against the bulkhead and where it touches the plank. And I'll use a heavier glue there because it does have a little bit stronger adherence than the thin glue. But uh, on the outside here where I glue these planks together, I'm only going to use the really thin glue and then hold it in place 
until it dries. And the reason I'm using the thin glue is so that when I do get around to sanding the hull, I don't have to sand with a different amount of pressure on one part versus another because I use a different kind of glue. And that's really important because you don't want to have any little divots. Uh, on top of this first layer of planking, there's going to be another layer of planks. Before I started laying these uh, planks, especially the ones where they're going to go, and there's these compound curves where it'll curve one way and then another way, I soak the uh, plank boards for about 10 minutes in warm water. And that does loosen them up quite a bit. You can see right here, it makes it really easy for me to bend this particular plank. Look at that. I can bend it without it snapping. And so I'll shape that in place. I always put wood filler in so that the hole is completely smooth. All right. So now I get this stern piece cut. Another one of the <laughs> handy uses for my favorite tool, the toenail clippers, is uh, the, the part that you push down on the handle part makes for really good. See that? Look at that. Helps me push the uh, planking board while it's uh, going to hold its curve. So now I'll use the medium weight glue underneath, and then um, after this is start to set. I'll use a heavier, the lighter weight glue on the outside. Okay, here's another trick of mine. Um, you use an um, accelerator to make these glues set really quickly, but you don't want to be spraying the accelerator around in your room because it'll clog up these other uh, the, the glue tips really fast. So what I do is I take and I spray the little bit of the accelerator on my fingertip, and I quickly rub that on the underside of the plank. So as soon as it does touch that glue that's drying right now, it'll it'll hold pretty quickly. So there, I, I sprayed a little bit of that under there. Really rub that just lightly underneath the planking board. Now I take my finger and I'll clip her thing and push that planking board down in place, and almost instantly there, it's now with its complete curvature, compound curve, glued in place. Now what I always do to finish it off is put a little bit of the really light glue in between the planking boards, right there. And then if you look down the board here, you'll be able to see whether or not it's uh, out of alignment or anything that looks odd, and you can push it in place while it's drying. And of course it's gonna dry pretty quickly. Now another, another very important step is always plank one on each side. Don't plank just two or three on one side and then go to the other side of your ship model because almost instantly the ship will start to bow. It'll start to flex when you look down the keel. So plank one board on one side and then flip over and plank the board on the other side but don't do them two or three on one side. Always keep it completely even. I used nails on the very first board that I laid down just to help secure it in place. And none of the others have needed nails of any kind. And I'll be pulling these nails out before I do the final sanding so that I don't have to sand harder right where those nails are so that I keep the sanding at all the same same amount of... All right, so that's how I planked the hull of the uh, Flying Cloud Clipper Ship. Next is going to be coppering the hull. Um, as I mentioned in the introductory video, I found these incredible copper plates. They're uh, really authentic. They've got thousands of little tiny rivets on them, uh, dimpled rivets, just like on the real copper plate. So the next video that I post is going to be uh, how I've coppered the hull of the Flying Cloud Clipper Ship. I thought you might like to know that I've got a, an additional website besides my primary one. My primary website, of course, is paulshipsofsanfrancisco.com. And on that website, on the home page, there's a link to how I'm building this ship model, the Flying Cloud. And that'll take you to my photo website where there's all kinds of photographs as well as raw video that I just don't have time to post on YouTube. So please feel free to click on that one and follow along. So thanks for following so far. Coming up next, coppering the hull of the uh, Flying Cloud Clipper Ship.